Okay, I'm here today with Richard Johnson in the new New Ventures Lab in, uh, at the University of Washington. So Richard, what are, you, what are you showing us here today? Well, what we've been working on is an ultra-small endoscope. The idea is you can go into parts of the body that conventional endoscopes can't. So this particular device is 1.2 millimeters in diameter. And uh, we're putting this in places like the bile duct uh, in humans now, doing human trials on that. And it uses a totally different technique. Instead of a camera chip in it, it has a single optical fiber that then vibrates. It uses lasers to output light. And that lights up one spot at a time. The reflection from that then is picked up and we move the fiber, which moves the spot, and then we generate an image over time. So in this case, we can generate 600 line images at 30 frames a second. And uh, you can see we have the system here, the monitor that the display goes on, and I'll just stick this in my mouth, and... We'll see all your cavities there, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, the level of detail is amazing. And you, so, you said in the liver primarily, so why is well, that the, an area that you need to get this sort of level of detail? Well, one of the areas we're going into, and there's many areas we will, but the, um, the bile duct, into the bile duct, which goes up into the liver, is one of the areas we're looking at because there are no high resolution scopes that can go up there and image in that area currently. So we're doing trials at the university hospital um, into the bile duct. We've also taken this same device and repositioned it a little and uh, here is another example. It's exactly the same thing, but this one we just put a little capsule around. It's actually the same size as an Advil or any other capsule, and a weight in it. The idea here, put it in your mouth, drink a glass of water, and then you can image down the esophagus. And this is for people who have like Barrett's esophagus or acid reflux. And those people then you can image, and it requires no anesthesia. Wow, and, and you'd just be able to pull it right back up you as you... Pull it back up when you're done. And we've done, uh, run about 11, 11 patients through this at the Veterans Hospital here in Seattle. And uh, most of these patients have to undergo the normal procedure afterwards where they have to put them out, swallow the big scope, uh, and requires anesthesia. And all of them have said they highly prefer just swallowing this device. I'm sure. So I'm sure they would. What are the other applications for so what's, what's the status of when we might see this uh, get into co uh, commercial product? I mean, you're a new startup or what? Well, we've been working with C4C for a number of years. This has been licensed for some applications to the Pentax Corporation. We've been working with them to, to make commercial products and uh, they will launch their first products hopefully this year um, in some advanced imaging. And then we're doing a startup company to pick up some of the other applications, specifically the bile duct, a scope to go deep into the lungs. Right now, current scopes can go about a third of the way into the lungs, and we can go farther. And our whole goal is to look for early cancers. And uh, we also have another interesting thing, is since it is laser light that's coming out, you can see the pattern. If we see something, we can actually kind of circle it and then turn a high power laser on when the laser flashes and burn it out, right when it's small and, and before the, the cancer has a chance to spread. So one of the other applications we're working on. Great. Well, thanks for showing it to me today. No problem.